Copy map information. Another book by this guy. Three blind rats. When FBI informants need pr protection, you call the police. When those informants wind up dead, you call Neil Black. In a rain-soaked return to South City, Neil Black is hung out to dry as the only man who can piece an FBI case back together, with danger lurking around every corner. Introducing Black's new nemesis, the shadowy Don Carl. Three blind mice is Sturgeon at his best. Huh. This is weird. So what happens if a burn gets out of control? What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Fair. Ugh, are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. Uh-huh. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. Not even in the mood for wordplay. My god. Oops. Fired. Wait, what was that? Oh, supply drop. <clears throat> so, I keep going south and then head east. Okay. I need to go s south that way. Oh, there's still that fire going on. This music is pretty great. Are those skis? What? Why can I say? Why is there a ski here? Why can I n neither pick it up or say anything about it? Apparently that's normal? Ah, uh, she creeps me out, ninja. In a lot of ways. I don't trust her at all. Yeah, it does have a similar sound to the RimWorld stuff, Steel Derek. You found her annoying? I find her suspicious and insane. Okay, so now I just want to go due east. Okay. She's just lonely? I mean... Uh, Earthen, I'm planning on getting back to RimWorld next week. I want to try, uh, this weekend I want to try and get, uh, the Twitch toolkit working. So then, I'll play it again next week. Hopefully with some integration. I don't, I'm not a big fan of toolkit, but... What is... A wrecked snowmobile? Out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. They strips the engine out. Someone stripped these snowmobiles down to the bone. Huh. And that's weird, right? I mean, I can come up with a bunch of not weird reasons someone would do that out here, but given what's happened, yeah. Yeah, that's weird. That's fair, Bufu. Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah, where am I? Pork Pond. There used Pork to be a sign pond? up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. I would totally steal a sign that said Pork Pond. Uh, because it's called Pork Pond? It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den, or, you know, anywhere. She totally has a sign that says Pork Pond. No, I, I like her attitude. I enjoy the conversations we have with her. She's a very interesting character. But she seems a little crazy. K. 
Camp Arapaho? Camp Arapaho. You're there? Yeah, I am. <sighs> it's been out there since the 50s. I was never really into the idea of scouts. It's something about men organizing boys around their ideals. Never sat right with me. Beware of weebelows in large numbers. Beware of anyone in large numbers. Uh, the, the bridge is out. The camp is out. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. <clears throat> when we get to her tower and she's not there, never has been. <laughs> what are Weebelows? Hey, Mulrock, good to see you. Uh, Weebelows are one of the levels of Boy Scouts. Actually, I think Cub Scouts. Which are young Boy Scouts. That's not creepy. Right, Doc? It hurts so much. Am I supposed to be here looking for supplies? You ever talk to any of the scouts? No, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Sure about that? Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. I mean, he, he wasn't a scout or a weedle or whatever? <laughs> I got the sense that boy could barely tie his shoes, let alone a clove hitch. What the hell's a clove hitch? Uh, well, this is creepy. You are probably too old and too stubborn to learn. You use it to make rafts and shelters and stuff like that. Huh. You know how to tie one? Heck no. I'd make a weedle do it. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. How long was this abandoned? Make tea and a protein stroop waffle. Hold on. Yeah, I'm with Earthen. Tell me more. <laughs> Go on. You can't just say things like that. And then... And then walk away. They're talking about weebelows like they're livestock? Yes, they are. Hey, there's a bear trap. There are bear traps out here in the scout shelters. Scouts are stalwart prey. That's messed up. Is this the same guy? It is. How long has this guy been missing? Fufu, stop. You know what it is. <laughs> a stroop waffle is a very, it's essentially a very thin Dutch, um, like pancake, or, uh, waffle. They're really good. Ooh, an axe! Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. Uh, I found an axe. If one of the crew left it, that thing is actually called a Pulaski. It looks like an axe to me. Pulaski? This thing will be a huge help. For both getting through the backcountry and getting through that fence. Okay, I feel a little better about things now. No, keep it equipped. <laughs> what is this? A memo. Hey, D, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Hmm. Huh. Uh, next few days... Dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Dr. Simmons? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there. Let the mystery percolate. <laughs> Mother always said I would need someone to give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that... That, that we don't know about? What are they researching? I don't like this. Us. They're researching us. You... You think they're studying you and me? I do. Yeah. I mean, maybe it's about studying two strangers who talk every day. He's not wrong. Like if you put someone in isolation with someone else, what they do. Yeah, that's what I think. Well, fuck that. Agreed. I think we should allow for the possibility that this is all just a big misunderstanding, but... Nope. 
God, if you saw what you said you did... Fuck, Henry. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. So what's next? This is well, weird. I've got an axe, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and keep an eye out for anyone following you. Oh, now I should keep an eye out for people following me. Yeah, I've been doing that for a while. Thanks. I found a little trowel. Maybe I should take it with me. Could use it to pop open beers. Wow. Um, 99% sure that's for burying poop. Nope. And I'm holding it. <laughs> Maybe drop it? <laughs> uh, can you pause the game? No, boofs. Hey, Diggler, good to see you again. Ooh. Ah, ah. Listen, Hal. I don't need your sass. More shall gather. More shall enter the fray. <clears throat> Danielle, thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate that. Welcome, welcome. Sass is always appreciated. Whoa, whoa, that was disorienting. <laughs> uh, I'll be right back. One second. Sorry about that. Okay. Uh, where am I going? Oh, return to the meadow. Right. I gotta go back and chop down the fence. Stop moving. There we go. Jeez. Uh, okay, so back the way I came. So due west, back to the big tree, and then across. Yeah, seriously. Are you there? I, I had a thought. Oh. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just... On my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. That just gave me a chill. What was that? Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? No. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Um, there isn't any way someone, like, Another lookout could be on this line, is there? Um. No. Not without tapping our radios. Oh, which you said was impossible Get before? The tower. Shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. Um. Um. Thoroughfare Tower, this is Two Forks calling you for the, oh, 50th time today. The Flapjack Fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? Oh, yeah. Can we not disappear for a little while? Why are you so chipper? Wink last night, and I've been going crazy for the past six hours of sunup. How are you so chipper? Well, it's a new day. What a day this day we've been given. Maybe she crazy. I am actually asleep right now. Maybe I didn't stay up all night knowing that someone is. I actually slept just great. Uh, okay. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower. What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, all right. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. What is... she's trying to tell me something. Blue spruce, cottonwood, lodgepole pine, aspen, birch shrub, alder shrub, mock orange, sagebrush, prairie fire, fillery, golden aster, tail cup, lupine. 
Yeah, she's totally okay, yeah, it's up. trying to tell me something. Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Uh-huh. Sure. It's the, uh... No. You don't need to tell me. Just, um, internalize it. it it's a great tree. And there's an area called, um, that tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. Oh. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, maybe I should go for a hike. Nothing like an afternoon in the Rockies, I tell ya. Radio me the moment you get there. Hey, Ray, good to see you again. Oh, good. Spooky music. That's what I was hoping. Totally hoping that we would hear. Yeah. Ooh, peanut butter. Good old Biff. Pasta sauce, jam, Ooh, corn. Piece of candy. Right? These books. I have a feeling those books. Take care of yourself, Turt. I have a feeling I'm not going to be back. Wait, where's the fire axe? Oh, it's in my backpack. Okay, good. Okay, we're good. We're good. Whoa, the flapjack fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not going to try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. Telling you the author is the doctor? Okay. Uh... Cottonwood Creek. S wait, back down there? By the big tree? Take the whiskey. <laughs> she wants me to go back down there by the big tree? Okay. No, it's the opposite direction, not okay. Her tower is way up there to the north. Feel like I'm being set up. Uh, no, Takala, there are markings of trails. Uh, we found different maps that lead us to trails. Uh, that add the trail markings on there. Can I go south from here? Like straight south and cross the river? Or does it loop back around? I can, right? I don't have this path marked on my map. But that might be okay. As long as I can cross here. Yeah, there's the other supply box. Okay. Cash 307. Oops. Good form. This is fantastic. Let's see what we got. Map. So that'll give us some trails. Another note. Hey, who are these guys, Ron and Dave? They're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance that they had anything to do with those girls disappearing? No, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know them that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing tail and getting loaded. 
Seems like it. How comforting to know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid. <laughs> Ron, really wish the powers that be could issue us radios that didn't suck ass. Most of the time, I'd prefer to keep this to keep things pen to paper, but every once in a while, it'd be nice to get a hold of you right away. My sister keeps leaving me messages at the main office, but I don't think she gets that I took the job so I wouldn't have to deal with her or mom. I've been sitting at the spot for a while now, thinking about what to say to her. But I'm a quarter away through this bottle of fifes instead. Miss you, Dave. Lending library? These are all books? Jane Eyre? Really? Kind of unexpected. One chance to die, Richard Sturgeon. Uh, that's a pistol that looks like a one. That's really well done. I appreciate that. The first book in Crime by the Numbers from the author of the best-selling Spectrum spy series, One Chance to Die is the book that started it all. Neil Black is South City's most effective but least known detective. A former SCPD officer, Neil is to few and ally to one. Justice. A city deep in debt, tumbling into turmoil when Deputy Mayor is assassinated, and South City PD fears the killer is one of their own. With any inter internal affairs investigation, put another target on someone's back, and all upon the only person who can do the job, Neil Black. High stakes game of chicken, he's the only one willing to take the risk to stop the killer and put his... to kill her in his tracks and do what nobody else can, put South City in the black. Your Stroop Waffle sits perfectly on your special mug. <laughs> Terminal 7? Another- wait, what? Now a major, mo major motion picture. Starring Anders Nelson. Same guy. Somebody's a fan. Thanksgiving. South City Airport is packed to the gills with travelers eager to ditch the dreary metropolis for the holiday. And a group of Soviet terrorists has just entered that nobody has just ensured that nobody is going anywhere. Only former South City cop turned world-class detective Neil Black can cut through the red tape. These are so accurate to bad things. Starring Michael Keaton with Kurt Russell as Don Carl, Terminal 7 comes to the big screen summer of 86. Accidental Savior. Ooh, a different author. Terrence L. Greenbrier. November 21st, 1963. John Russell knows that the president's life hangs in the balance. But who would believe him? Wonder if Michael Keaton knows about this. Right? Your dad is Michael Keaton's twin? Nice. Your birthday is the day... <laughs> you sh your birthday is the day Kennedy was shot? That's crazy. I knew when your birthday was, but I didn't. I never put the the date together. Uh, your dad was Bruce Willis's twin when he was younger. Nice. Stop walking. Hold still. Thank you. Uh, so. I can't increase the limit now. Oh, there's the big tree with the ski. Why why are we not able to mention the ski? The ski creeps me out. Also, this looks like something straight out of Witcher. The hangman's tree? That even that creeps me out even more.
Big tree. Ski. It's the big tree ski. I'll show myself out. Yeah, it looks just like the hanged man's tree, right? Come on. That was gold. Only you all are allowed to make bad jokes. I see how it is. I see how it is. Isn't this where I'm supposed to be? Aren't I in Cottonwood Creek? Stop moving. Right? That's the Ruby River. Wait, where is it split? So this is co this is the Cottonwood Creek. This is the end of the Cottonwood Creek. No, I can't radio right now. Maybe I need to go to the mouth of the Cottonwood Creek? Oh, there we go. Uh, I'm here at Cottonwood Creek. You see the cash box there? Uh, it must be around here somewhere. It is. Find it and open it. I changed the code. It's 5678. Are you kidding me? I was in a rush. When were you here? Why didn't you just come by the tower? Where was that? Where was that cache? No, oh, it was back on the other side. Aha. Welcome back, Mark. Three blind rats. We looked at this one, right? That's why I threw it on the ground. Yeah. Get out of my way. Uh, okay, found the cash box. Great, open it. A new radio. Ooh. Good call. I've got it now. Good. I spent all day getting you that radio. I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger, and hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Ooh. Holy fuck, Henry. We have to get into that site. Really? What the fuck is going on? People are listening to us? I don't know. Our radios are tapped? Are you fucking serious? Our radios are definitely tapped. That's why I left you the one you just got. Yeah. How, how, how is this even possible? It's a walkie-talkie. Come know, on. Henry. What do you know? I know that I'm scared. You know more than that. Are there any other lookouts this is happening to? Someone else in on this? Anyone? <sighs> Fine. Great. Sure? Yes. I've tried to bring it up to Chimney Rock, Elk's Fork, and Beartooth Lookout, and every one of them got confused. Asked me if I'm okay and if I need to be relieved. Our fucking state court exactly, asked Doc. if I was just having lady troubles. So no, this isn't happening to anyone else, and I'm done asking. Who is doing this? I don't know who could be doing this. I don't believe you. Henry, I've been at this job off and on for 13 years. Sometimes here, sometimes over near Jackson, a couple times down in Wind River. And nothing like this has ever happened before. Look, I'm headed back to the gate, and now that I've got an axe, we'll know something soon. You need to get into that site. Call me yeah, no kidding. Something. I'm on my way. She's totally... She's totally part of this. <laughs> I believe nothing. Hey, uh, I just thought of something not, um, not great. Did you? 
What is it? I filed a report that said that neither of us ever talked to or saw those girls, the ones that... Why did you say that? I didn't tell you to say that. What? Why would you do that? I told you to say the minimum and just keep it vague. I know. And I didn't. I, I, I just didn't want to be hassled. And now someone probably has a transcript of that entire conversation. And I've filed a report that's a blatant lie. Hey, that's on you. Oh, and those girls are still... Take care, boofs. Yep. Fuck, Delilah. Fuck, indeed. We really need to get to the bottom of this. Yeah, you think? Great. Great. Super, super duper. Totally jail time. Did you know you shouldn't deep fry cookies? You can. Deep fried Oreos are actually kind of delicious. Someone has to help clean the kitchen. Well, I mean, you shouldn't personally do it. So that's on you, Mark. Listen. Exactly. I'm busting the gate down. There's nobody around, and it's the quickest way in. Copy that. Ugh! <sighs> 